Hey guys, welcome back to Best One Automotive. Today we have a 2001 Honda Odyssey with an engine misfire and check engine light flashing. We will show you what's wrong with it and how we found it. Alright, so we checked the engine codes. So there's not a permanent code. It didn't run long enough to set a permanent code. But we do have a temporary code for a misfire in any cylinder, a P1399. So, when we start it up, also had a dead battery. So when we start it up, it'll miss it idle, which is good for us. Makes it a lot easier to find. Gonna remove this cover, flathead screwdriver, turn these kind of clockwise, comes off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for right now because I can access my rear cylinders. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna disconnect the coil packs one at a time. See if it makes a difference. That one does. That one does. That one does. That one does. That one does not. And that one does. Alright, shut this back off. Okay guys, I wanted to show you what we're doing on the back side of the motor here. This here is number one cylinder, number two, number three. When it was running, we came back and unplugged this connector, like so, and it still had the engine miss. Basically meaning that this is a dead cylinder, it doesn't make any difference whether this is plugged up or not, whether it's getting any fire. So that indicates that that's the cylinder we need to focus on. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this coil out, take the plug out, Take a look at it, see if anything jumps out at us. All right, set this out of the way. Regular Allen wrench, this is six millimeter. Take this screw out of here. have to kind of wiggle it past the cedar hose here a little bit. Hitachi sets OEM. Got a metal shield on this one. Alright, nothing jumps out on that. Take the spark plug out. I take our spark plug socket here, and I do use one with a swivel in it again to clear this heater hose. It's always good to have. All right. Got a sling filed. All 
Okay. So what we're gonna do, so we have a plug and a coal. Either of these could be bad. I'm gonna guess since this has gas on it, it's just not firing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap this with another cylinder I know is working and swap this with another cylinder I know is working. And we'll see if the misfire follows this plug or if the misfile, misfire follows the ignition coil. All right, I'm gonna put this in number one and we'll put that in number three cylinder. All right, one thing I am gonna do with this coil This is going to be our number two. All right. All right. Remove this number one coil. screw out, take the coal out. I'm gonna go ahead and label this as number one so we don't get them confused. And I am gonna go ahead and take the spark plug out of this one too. So, there's nothing wrong with number one cylinder. We know that it's okay. All right, so we're gonna put this plug in our cylinder that it's having problems with. All right, so number one plug now in number two cylinder, we know that that's a good plug. All right. And then we're gonna take, take what may be put it in number one cylinder. So, what this is gonna tell us, if the misfire is now in number one, we have a bad plug. Let's see if the misfire follows that plug. Nugget. Then we're gonna take our number one ignition coil. 
It's easier too if you go ahead and plug this up. Make sure it clicks. Seat it, cylinder, spark plug tube, screw. Very tight, just snug it. Okay, so we know that spark plug in there is good. Now we're gonna go to our number three cylinder. And we know this cylinder is good as well. So, what I want from this cylinder. I want this ignition coil. I'm gonna label this one as number three. And I'm gonna put this good ignition coil and with my good spark plug. Now, we have a good plug in there. We have a good ignition coil. If everything, basically if we have compression in that cylinder, then we should have no more problems with this cylinder. If I do all this and start it up, and we still have a misfire on number two cylinder, we got much bigger problems. My hope, and what normally happens, go ahead and plug this up. Here's the click. What normally happens, it'll either follow, it'll either move to number one cylinder, or we have possibly the bad plug, or it'll follow this coil now that we've moved to the number three cylinder, that could possibly be bad. messing with that because I want to hear it click. So, okay. As soon as I get this start up, we'll start it up. We'll go back and unplug our coils one at a time. And we will see where the misfire is now. All right, so we got the engine misfire. I'm gonna go back here. Unplug number one cylinder. And that did make a difference. Let's go ahead and go to number two. And that did make a difference. Number three does not. Okay, so we have found our problem. Number one and number two cylinder are now good. So that tells us that the spark plug that we moved from the bad cylinder is working okay. But the coal that we moved back here to the number three cylinder 
is bad because now that cylinder is misfiring. And the only thing we changed on that cylinder was the ignition coil. So we'll get one ordered. We'll also post a video on how to replace that just in case that's the only thing you're doing. Hey guys, here at Best One Automotive, we would like to know, what are you guys working on? Email us at bestoneautomotive at gmail.com and let us know your suggestions for our next video. Remember to include your name and where you live, and please remember to subscribe to our channel to see if we pick your suggestion for our next video. As always, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.